surprise i'm back <laughs> hi guys um i just um i wasn't gonna do a uh, another pour today because uh it's it's already really late it's uh 9 30 in the evening but um we're having some extreme weather yes extreme i'll show you in a minute up here right now it's 27 degrees and that is hot for holland so I thought, you know, I'm not going to go up there and do another pour. Not in this heat. I'll wait till tomorrow morning. But then I thought, hey, what better circumstances than to test the pouring medium? So that's what I did. I uh, mixed up some paint. These are all Winsor & Newtons. So uh, I have five colors. I have my Floetrol ready. I have the pouring medium in there and a little bit of water because you need that. Um... So this is the, the pouring medium, like I said, Vallejo, and um, it's a 50-50 mix. So I put in some paint, which I thought was what I wanted to use, put it on a scale, I weighed it, and I put um, the same amount of pouring medium in there. Then I mixed it, mixed it smooth, and that went very fast. That, that was nice. And then I added about... Like, say, for this one, here's about 60 milliliters of paint with pouring medium. Then I put about 3 to 6 milliliters of, so less than 10% water in every color. So that's what's in there at the moment. So only Winsor & Newton pouring medium. Just to get this straight. Because, you know, I asked you guys to um, email me with a, a, a sort of an indication what you're going to be ordering. So I don't, you know, sell out within a week. <laughs> that would be that would be nice. But um, we have to understand that when you buy the pouring medium, it's not for the fluid acrylics from Vallejo. The fluid acrylics from Vallejo, I put um, the Floetrol in. So uh, I did put a little bit of pouring medium in, like a tiny bit. But um, that caused, you know, all those cells. There were, there were way too many cells, so um, I thought that was a bit much. Um, first off, I did an update because I forgot someone. I forgot, let's see, Cindy and Rod. I forgot those two. So here's the updated list as of Friday evening, 9 o'clock, updated. So thank you all sponsors of July 2017. Uh, I have my trusty little canvas. I will show you, here it is, is the temperature meter. This is uh, outside, this is inside. It's on 26 and a half now because I got the windows open so they, you know, the, the wind is coming through a little bit. But I promise you everything that's in here has a temperature of at least 27 degrees. Um, what I want to do next is um, add a tiny bit of Floetrol because um, that is what I want to do. And you guys have um, the flood, so just watch. Just a tiny bit. It's not much. About, nah, I would say not even a, um, oh yeah, that, that one's a, a tablespoonful. But it shouldn't be, it just should be a little bit. Like a tiny bit. See that? No more than that. So I'm going to stir that in. There you go. And it's exactly right. The consistency is beautiful. Stirring real fast. Don't want to get you guys all bored because I'm stirring paint. So I'm putting it in. Uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff for those, um, you know, to get everything in gear. Uh, we got the tax number today. That was a good thing. But now we're waiting on the um, the bank account, the, the things that you have to pay with. So it's a waiting game. But I'm glad you guys understand that, you know, you can't put this all together within like two weeks. It doesn't work like that. Okay, let's see. Where are we going to put the uh, dimethicone in? I would say in two drops in the turquoise, 
and two drops in the green. And that's it. And I'm going to stir it in slightly like that. And stir it in here slightly. That's it. So nothing in here, nothing in this one, and nothing in this one. Only in those two. So we have 50-50 paint and pouring medium. One tablespoon or less of Floetrol in each color. And we put four drops of silicone, two in the turquoise, two in the green. That's it. And I think I'd like to start because I want a lot of turquoise. And then I want a lot of that brown because I think that's going to be really scrumptious. A lot of brown. A little bit of green. Whoops, not too much. A little bit of yellow. Whoops, not too much. Then some more turquoise and a lot of brown because I like really like that brown. I'm going to layer some on top. That's it. And I'm going to layer this one a little bit and then pour it in from up high. Now that is a lot of uh, a lot of paint. And you can hear in the background the dogs. They're the dogs, the neighbor's dogs. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I like that brown all around there. And I don't have the corner catcher. You should, I think a good tip would be to make a lot of those corner catchers. You know, just have a whole, whole bunch of them ready. Wow, look at that. Look at that. How pretty is this going to be? Ooh, I don't even, I don't even want to move it. Oh, but we have to. So let's move it, move it. Let's move it, move it. Oops. And down here. Go faster, please. Yep. And down there. And I got a bunch of drip off again, but we don't care. Now, this is, ooh. It's dripping off something terrible. I'm cleaning off the sides, cleaning off the bottom. Oops, and corner, don't forget the corners. That's it. And like I said, I wanted all the browns, so I got the browns. I would have liked a little bit more of turquoise. That would have been nice, but I really like these big cells with the orange or with the yellow rims around them. And as you can see, this is working too. I'm going to close the, uh, close the uh, window because the dogs are driving me crazy. I would never have my dog go on like that. That is, um, you know, dogs, dogs are really cute. And I, I, I take a lot of them, but not barking all night long. That is totally ridiculous. Okay, let me do this. Because I think they're quiet at the moment. Okay. Oh, I got double cells. Look at that. That's nice. I got some double. Wow. Now I'm giving it another go because I, I sort of like those double cells. Okay, not in the middle though. I'll get you guys down, show you up close. Oops, there you go. See the double cells? They are cute. That is pretty. Now, another thing that I wanted to do is, um, let me see if you're in focus, yes. Another thing that I'd really like to do was do one with a lot of white. Let me fill in the, the gaps here a little bit because there's a little bit of uh, exposure on the... Uh, I think if I had only put silicone in one color, it would have been enough. But I put it in two. And some up here. Just a tiny bit. Just to fill in those little cute little holes. 
and you can because you know it's not like it's they're gonna open up again just putting in a little bit of the drop off is enough here's a little bit there it's totally covered okay I think we're good and as you can see the cells oh man they are they are beautiful I will show you in a bit let me just close the window there you go hope, hope you don't hear it through the other window I'll have to close that one too yeah you do <laughs> I'm sorry next time I'll close them but you know this was just to oh, I'm sweating the sweat is running off my forehead look at that how wet can you see how wet that is that's from my forehead. That's how hot it is up here. Look at that. So this is a really good stress test because if if you can get these cells in this heat, you, we all remember the the big uh, blooper of the Liquitex where when it was as hot as it is now, you got no cells at all. So we know that this stuff performs even in heat. So. I wouldn't expect anyone to have um, the temperature inside higher than 28 degrees. Um, <laughs> so, I don't think you'd have it higher than 28 degrees inside. That'd be way, way, way too much. But um, as you can see, all the cells are um, doing its thing. I'll give you one more close-up because what I'm seeing is that some of these cells see how they are sort of more defined and I think that's the little add-on of the float troll so if you you know do the float troll or you do flood I don't think it really matters but you can see how they 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 have the rings and I really like those rings There you go. Okie dokie, putting you back up there. There we are, back in focus. So it is dark, but that's sort of what I wanted. And um, next time, um, I'm going to be um, doing a new one, something with a lot of white. So I wanted to do lots of white. I want to put some uh, white paint on the canvas before I pour and maybe, you know, rub it in. The whole canvas in white and then put a really colorful pour on top and see what it does to the white and that's what I'm gonna do for tomorrow um, as of now um, like I said you know if you have um, an idea of what you're gonna order please do that please send it to this email address riddahoffart at ziggo.nl I'll put the uh, the address under the video also, so it's easy to access, and it's just an indication for um, for me that I know what to order because we're going to be ordering. I think um, Monday or Tuesday we'll we'll put in the first order, and um, we'll, we'd also like to do some something for the first like say first fifty people that buy something. Um, my brother-in-law is thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Something cute. Some, uh, something that, I don't know, something that will surprise you, I guess. So just let us know. And, uh, we can, um, we can, oh yeah, someone asked about, um, uh, Leslie, the, uh, the, the primary elements. Uh, yep. Leslie just answered the email and she's going to be on top of it. So we will know very soon. Uh, if, when, and how that stuff is going to come to Europe. And then as soon as I know, you guys will know. And now I want to play with the leftover paint, of course. See what's going to happen. Here you go. Wow, that's pretty. And of course, everyone's screaming, oh, drip off, drip off, keep it. I know, I know, I know, I know. Just let me torch this. <laughs> I can't help it. There you go. Just nice little, nice little cute little cells. That's kind of cute. 
just testing if it works. <laughs> Let's put some more over here. That's nice. Oh, I really like that. That's that rusty color. I like that. Yep, it works. Get you guys down, show you what it does on the on the plastic. There you are. It's a lot of um, shining of the the lamps. I'm sorry about that, but this is just to you know to show you guys. Even in the drip off, you can get so many beautiful things. Let's see if I can show you again. Oops, let's make it a little bit straight. You can't get my finger on the... <laughs> this is so difficult. I'm watching on screen. I'm watching on screen, so it's a bit hard to do this. There you go. Look at that. And I have no idea how far I am from the paint, so I've got to watch out. Is that, look at that, I just love it, I can't help it, I love that. Now, could you imagine if if you had those beautiful big gold splotches on there, that would be so clint, <laughs> that would be very climty. I really want to do a clint, something in these colors, that, that, that grayish green, and then all these beautiful bronze and gold and all those metallics popping up, some really beautiful uh, primary elements, like the orange that, you know, just comes off. But this is to die for, really. I love this bit. Oh, guys, I hate it. I got to keep it. Wow, that is beautiful. I am. I'm going to keep that. Um, how I'm going to do it, I'm not sure yet. I think I'll cut this out. Yeah. But I'll keep it. So... See you all tomorrow. I'm going to upload this, you know, just so you have something to uh, watch while you slowly glide into dreamland. So close your eyes and think about beautiful colors and how the colors slowly swirl and make those beautiful cells. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in a good mood, I know. Okay, guys, got to see you tomorrow. Have a really beautiful evening if you still have an evening. And thank you for watching, and thank you all the sponsors of July 2017. I love you all, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.